I want to welcome back to even more TGM Play Skyrim. I met TGM. Today, I'm playing some more Skyrim. Special edition. When we last left off, uh, Codlag told us to go and kill these witches. Uh, so we could chop off their heads and bring them to him. So we can use their powers for evil. Or to, I don't know, cure Codlac or something? I don't know, it's all confusing. They don't tell me these things. Either the writers don't listen. Uh, hey, Ella. Have you been bringing the battle to the Silver Hand, friend? I wish I could be there with you. Soon enough. All right, then. I've been trying. Um, all right. Uh, Dragon's Reach. Da, 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 da. Where, where to go next? I don't actually know where to go. Um, that's quite a way away. Guardian Stones. Let us begin the long trek across Skyrim, because we're going to get this hit done by episode 20, guys. Episode 20-something, tw I should say. 20-something. We're going to finish up the Companion's quest line by episode 20-something. Well, it'll be actually quite cool to see Kodlak in action, you know. Because we haven't really seen him do anything. Ah, the Guardian star. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I'm so I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys, this isn't actually what we plan to do, but I have got to go here. I promised you guys that I would take care of this. And that is what I intend to do. Now ain't this a surprise? Oh damn! Get bajitoed! Yeah, I promised this mine I would clear it. And that is what I intend to do. I will free this mine from those pesky bandits. Alright, come on, Fandle. Let's go. I, I, I've been completely forgetting about this. Like the looks of this. What, the looks of this? What's so bad about it? Oh god, I forgot. No, no. Fandle. That's it? That's all you got? You're completely fine. Shut up. Um... That's weird. He's like Donkey from Shrek. He's really annoying and occasionally he's helpful. Oh, there's some people. People, Vandal. You need to be wise about what strategy we use. Oh, oh, I did it. Was, he, was, he, was he your buddy? Oh, damn it, I missed. Curse you, fake kill cam. You've deceived me. Like a boss. Okay, jump down. Grab the gold. Steal the fly amanita. That's Fandle. Steal this uh, rabbit haunch. Oh, I actually get my bolt back. Come at a steel bolt. Quite like it back, sir. What's the. Oh. Oh, he's dead. It's my coin purse. Tatted journal. They've had me working down here for days now. It's not the time to get into me, though. It's these tunnels. I've told them countless times to add extra spots to the weak sections of the tunnel. If only we would have more of those wooden beams we reinforce the bronze bottoms. Honestly, if I hear the earth just above my head, I'll be so stre- Oh, one more time, sorry. I'll be so stressed, I may stop drinking for good. I mean, what's a Nord without his mead? Well, um, dead. He's dead. He's a dead Nord. As is evident with you, because you are dead, and you're a Nord. Oh, there's a lever. Let's swap over. He did. He said, "I thought we had a guard posted outside." Well, you did. I mean, just he, 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 he's not exactly there anymore. All right, Fandle, Harkle, Parkle, Fandle. Ah, uh, you boring sod. You did something cool that one time. And he's like, okay, I've I've done everything I need to for the rest of the LP. I'll just be Mr. Boring Fandal. Oh. Quiet Fandal. Oh, spell time, clear points. Uh wonder what stuff we'll get. Uh, okay, Fandal. Time to read this book. So now we know what uh, something from every school of magic. We know an alteration spell. Try cast we'll try casting it. Know an illusion spell. We know uh, two destruction spells, a conjuration spell, and a and a restoration spell. 
We'll get, we'll start using our Hone Ancient or Greatsword of Cold, even though it probably would be better just to use a non-enchanted weapon. Okay, he, he he's detected us. Bad time to get lost, friend. Yo, dead. There is wait, what? Mine. Oh, there's actually iron ore here. So I'm glowing now. Chest, dwarven mace. Not bad. Not bad, but sadly not good enough for me to actually give a damn. All right, let's go. I actually have an idea for what we can call this. We just gotta wait for it to wear off. Damn it. Can't wait while enemies are nearby. Well, I guess there's uh, nothing really stopping us from using our bow, is there? Oh, he survived. Wow. Would you look at that? Paint all. You're cool. But you really are starting to be Donkey from Shrek. You say, oh, would you look at that, when there's literally nothing here to look at. Light armor for, oh, I remember we read that once. Um, let's go back to using our oak flesh. All right, Fainal, are you ready? There's, uh, there's someone up there. We've got to be ready to take them down, Fainal. You're, like, you're still using your impi- Huh? That is a hunting bow. I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? You're using a freaking hunting bow. I told you never to use a hunting bow again. Use the elven bow. Christ, Vandal. No, screw it. Let's go. Let's just charge straight in there. We're going to be an Onubu combatant. In other words, we're going to be an idiot. All right. Let's charge straight at them. All right. Hey, guys. Kaioke. You are no match for my Kaioken, son. Yeah, you Kaio can't keep up with my strength, speed, and agility. If you guys have any better ideas for Kaio for uh, something to call Kaioken, let me know. Maybe I can make a Kaioken potion. Now, I mean, this only lasts for 60 seconds, but, uh, you know, Fandle, please, don't use the hunting bow. I thought the glitch was over. I thought Glitchmas had ended, but no. You insist on using that goddamn hunting bow. If anyone knows a fix for this, let me know. I mean, I've heard rumors that you can give him a Force Warm bow and it'll fix the problem. But no, it just doesn't seem to be working for me. Dwarven Badlax. Neat. Uh, push minus down. We're gonna need to drop off some stuff at White Run. I'm sorry guys, we're just gonna have to because I cannot be stuffed carrying all this stuff around and having to drop stuff. Okay, how do we leave this place? This was cut. Oh, we got valuable gems. Okay, we're, we're no longer in Kaioken. I mean, I can't imagine us getting any stronger than Kaioken, right? I mean, it's not like there's some other power out there that uh, succeeds the Kaioken slash Oak Flesh, right? <laughs> Dragon Aspect <laughs> Super Saiyan Cop. Oh, sorry. I, I got a bug in my throat. That, that sometimes happens when I'm being sarcastic. Um, for those of you who play Dragon Balls on DLC, you'll know. You'll know what I am talking about. Dun, 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 it's dark. I don't know why I'm singing this song. Dun 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 dun. I don't know why I'm carrying half the stuff around, anyways. Uh, Orcish Bedlax, go away. Dwarven Greatsword, go away. Okay, I'm much less encumbered now. All right. To the Glen Moral Witcher, you know, we may as well just like practice traveling in Kaioken mode. Oh, we can do- oh. Oh, well, that was cool. I'm not sure if we increased it because we like- I'm not sure if we increased it by our armor rating by casting it. Or our, uh, alter, our, our alteration skill by casting the spell. Or if it was because- uh, I might as well charge using Alyssa. 
Or if it was because um, we ran into the wolves. Can't really tell if I'm Kaioken or not. I mean, it's kind of more easily over here. It's like it's like Kyo blue Kaioken. There's a shack over there. I want to investigate this shack. Oh god, it's a wall. It's a freaking wall. I've got to climb this wall now. Power of the jump button, don't fail me. Okay. No. Okay, I, I need I must okay. See, that wasn't so hard. That was actually a pretty easy jump button wall. Oh hi. Anna and nieces Kevin. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. It's so nice to have a visitor. Hmm. Oh, you actually seem pretty little Song of the Alchemists. Mine? Ooh, Pocket Theory Sexual. Also mine. I need that in the mirror for a potion. A cellar? Maybe she'll have some treasure in the cellar. Some valuable treasure. Some treasure I can steal. Eel and make my own. What is this? Well, this is a nice place. Right, Fandal. I guess we can stand up now. You don't mind me stealing these, right, Fandal? He seems cool with it. He's like he's like a lawful good. Fandal is lawful good. Steal from this cupboard. There's nothing in here we need to steal. Bone meal. Uh, Anissa's letter. Helgi. Helgi. Do I know that name? I think I might know that name. I, I'll tell. I think that might be Sven's mother. Fandle. You're not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed to be in here. Fine. Fandle, your, ri your rival's mother is a uh, is evil. She's a hagraven. Oh. oh, you think you can use the... See, that's just oak flesh. Mine is the Kaioken. So I actually have... Uh, you interrupted my speech. Uh, I actually have armor to go along with this. Blue major robes. And the worth some money. And now you're naked as well. You can rest atop this. Actually, no, you know what? We, we're trying to put this coven to bed. Several bad puns later. It'll make a nice change from all the uh, Vegitos. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with Vegito. Vegito was friggin' epic, but. See, this part looks bad. This part looks like Bethesda didn't even bother. But then again, Bethesda never said that they were gonna do a complete remaster of the whole game. Like, every thing. Because that would take forever. But what they did do is they focus on the major parts. See, from far away, this game looks majestic. From close up, this game still looks majestic. Uh, but if you get, like, really close to certain spots, it does kind of look a little bit worse. But it's still kind of majestic. It's, like, so majestical. Majestical is a word. I mean, it's not, but if I say it is, it is. So I am Vegito. I will burn your dictionaries. <laughs> That's the best threat I could have come up with. I will burn your dictionaries if you do not listen to me. <clears throat> uh, I'm not actually sure what time we're on because I had to pause the the video for a bit uh, to go and have some dinner. Because, you know. Um, but I'm, I'm going to guess we have like around 10 minutes. Avoid Brittleshin Pass, that guard said. Well, I don't hold the guards in very high respect, so, uh... I don't like just walking like this, I don't. Kaioken! Okay, we're Kaioken. Man, we can actually pull off the Super Kaioken like this, because we actually don't actually require oxygen. What is that? That didn't. That had literally nothing to do with what I was talking about. What I'm saying is that these aren't. This isn't actually the rules of Dragon Ball Z. You don't get angry when you use Super Saiyan. 
uh, aka okay, dragon aspect, and, but you can use, still use the Kaioken. No, this is a very weak Kaioken. This is only like base Kaioken. Okay, okay, guys. Just so you know, I, really? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm guessing it only really works if you have enemies. Um, all right. What's this? The Lady Stone. Those in the Lady regenerate health and stamina more quickly. Nah, pass. Oh, thanks for the flowers, though. And uh, oh, oh, god damn it. Pretty sure. What is it with Skyrim and like naked gods and ladies and people like that? I can't swing my sword and oh god, my Kaioken wore off. I can't use the Kaioken. <laughs> Fandle. I wish Fandle could use Kaioken. Or something. They'd be neat. Is a floating skeleton. He's. Uh, I've never seen this before. You, you just you just chilling there, buddy? Yeah. You, you just chilling? All right. Uh, this is a Nultz's Deep. You know, normally I would explore, but hope. Uh, come on, Fandle. Let's just go. We'll get out of range of these slaughterfishes, then he can just use instant transmission and get back to us. Yeah, guys, if you haven't already noticed, I'm going to be making a lot of Dragon Ball Z references throughout this game. And I hope you don't mind, because uh, honestly, no one ever comments, so no one really cares. So I can say instant transmission, I can say stuff, a lot of other stuff, I can say whatever I want. So I'm just sneaking away. Okay, we're hidden. Sneak has increased to 35. Good. Fatal. I summon the invisible Fandle. Fandle, do you know how Still good here. your gear is? You no. had trouble. It's that hunting bow. I told you. It's that hunting bow. It's just, it's, it's not letting you achieve your full potential. I swear to God. Apparently, if I give him a forsworn bow, I can fix the problem. But the problem is. Is that Fandle will always seem to use that default hunting bow. Seriously, I wish Bethesda, out of all the glitches I want them to fix, that's probably the biggest one. Because the other glitches, the other glitches are funny. This glitch is just annoying. Oh hey. I've been hunting and f it's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The yarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Yeah, poacher. It's a good thing that this, this is a land where there are lots of animals. What? Someone do something? What do we need to do something about? There's no one here. There might be a bear in the wilderness, but it's not like that really matters, does it? Alright, there's a cave. What cave be this? What be this cave? What separates this cave from all the other caves? What makes this cave unique? What makes that shack over there worthy of the title or the icon of a shack? Many mis these mysteries and more on the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z. Hunter's Rest, K Lamp. Okay, let's go. Okay, Final, back to the shack. Shut up, Final. Uh, yeah, I, I may insult. Oh. Moss Mother Kevin. There's a dude over there. Hello? You! Over here, please. I need help. Thank Kinnereth for you, stranger. I'd almost given up hope of walking away from here. Okay. Uh, who are you? Name's Valder. I hunt out of Falkreath. We tracked a bear to this den. Good coin for those pelts. We had the big sow cornered when they showed up. Three of them, out of nowhere. Spriggins. Niels went down before we even knew to run. Ari died just inside. I never even thought the things were real. I may have lost a drop or two of blood. Truth is, I'm not going anywhere like this. Uh, hurts to breathe. I may have a potion to spare. I just need a little to get going. Mind healing? <sighs> much better. Thanks, friend. I wouldn't have lasted much longer without that. But now what? I can't just walk away. Not with my friends' bodies in there being torn apart by those beasts. 
Uh, don't be foolish. I'll do it. You'd really risk your life for a stranger's honor? I don't even know what to say. Thank you, my friend. I'll wait here. Jess, what were you thinking with your studded armor? You think you can stand up to the Spriggans like that? Next to a mighty hunting bow. Uh, Fandal and Vegito. Especially Kaioken Vegito. Oh, no. Oh, no. No one can stand up to that. Uh, I'll, I'll be back. I'll just clear out this. I'll just clear out this hair dungeon, and then I'll get right back to uh, doing what I was doing. Now, may actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna pre-record as many damn episodes as I please. Just there's a spriggan. There's a friggin' spriggan. All right, Pendle. Last time we saw, okay, Pendle. Last time we saw one of these spriggans, didn't go so well. This time we have the advantage. Remember, Pendle. Just use the bow. Sky skulls will prevail. Oh no, it can heal. And now the spear. What is it? Earth? It's Earth spear. Ugh. Not healing this time. I'm still using these friggin' steel arrows. You know what? I'm just gonna loot this guy's corpse. Nothing that can help me. Ooh. Man, you can't keep the bears here. You already have a fish on your wall. I think. I don't know. I haven't actually checked in his house. Seems that everyone has, has fishes on their walls. Oh yeah, I forgot. We got the pelts. Alright. Kaioken, Vegito, let's go. Three Spriggans. I only count one. Oh, careful, Fendel. We may still be able to get the jump on, to get the drop on them. With our bow. Kneels. Fendel. Wow. Would you look at that? Shut up, Vandal. I swear to God, he's trying to get it, to give us away. He's trying to kill us. There's not many of them in here, is there? Huh? All the sneaking around... Oh, God. Oh, it came out of the tree. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's a big spriggan. That, that does a lot. That actually does a lot. I may need to Kaioken. Kaioken! And then go back. Oh, Jesus! I'm losing so much health. Damn. Uh, vigorous healing. Uh, I don't know if we'll need that. I still have a lot of I have two minor healings and two. I just drank an increase health. Die, you friggin' bastard! Ah, oh, this does nothing to them. I don't know if I'd be surviving this without my Kaioken. I don't know if I survive this, oh, if I'll survive this even with the Kaioken. I can't let it heal. I gotta keep swailing on it until it's dead. Oh god, that did so much. Okay, cool, I can drink my homemade potions of health. Oh damn, I need to drink that. I need to steal that taproot. Fandle, did you see that man? That was intense. Even the Kaioken wasn't enough to, to beat me, to save us there. Seriously, I've been finding it a lot easier ever since I've been using the Kaioken. I mean, and that's not me just saying that to like, Oh, I used the Kaioken, so therefore, life's been easier, because it's a powerful technique. It actually has made fighting quite a bit easier. I might actually start using, like, alteration a lot. Gold ore and rubies. I guess it's worth it, because we get the gold. Alright, uh, let's find this other Spriggan, my Kaioken just for- I can only maintain the Kaioken for like 60 seconds. These things come out of the trees. You ain't gonna take me down, I don't even need Kaioken to deal with you. You're just a- you're just- You're weaker than the average Spriggan. Oh yeah, these- those are the things that are like super effective with Dwarven Oil. I might need to get those done, or to- like get those like that dwarf and oil because seriously they increase my alchemy by a ton they are like brother ingredients okay back to using the hone engine Nords. I really need to get me a better one handed weapon seriously I mean a dwarven sword that might actually be pretty useful alright Vandal let's go uh, oh yeah I forgot 
I'm actually gonna favorite Kyokin. This uh, Kyokin is my code name for Oakflesh, okay? Oh god, I like traveling in Kyokin mode. It's nice. I also like the Kyokin as a whole in Skyrim, and we have gone over time again. But it was worth it because we got to Kyo kick some ass. Oh, that. Uh, come on, that, that was a good line. Hashtag Kyo kick some ass. It's done then. Justice, if you can call it that. Look, I want you to have this. I know it isn't much, but it's important to me. Ari gave me this dagger when Baldur's we first lucky started dagger. hunting together. I always said it brought her luck. You should be the one to carry it now. I'll give them a proper burial, then head back. Come find me if you're ever in Falkreath. You'll always be welcome at my door. Maybe I... I'll give them a proper burial. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. You seem like a cool guy. Hey guys, so that is going to end the episode there. Hope you did enjoy. Uh, next episode, which will also be pre-recorded. I swear to God, this is the last episode. So I need to start editing and getting the memorable moments done. Seriously, all you can see is a huge thumbnail line of Vegito in a changing number. Yeah, so, um... I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, also leave them down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Um, peace out.